Hey guys, Chad Hoover, Kayak Bass Fishing. Today we're going to talk about a question we're going to answer together. And that question comes from Michael Grant where he says, can you do a video on what PFD you wear and what you carry in it? All right, so thanks for the question, Michael. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to have Christy help me with this video because she wears the new NRS Chinook, which is the, the ladies' version of the Chinook that I wear. And so what we're going to do is we're going to actually walk through both of our PFDs. So I think I'll start it off, and then I'll let her be the, uh, the anchor piece to the whole thing. And so for the most part, I use my PFD as a wearable uh, gear organization and tackle box. So one of the things I like about the Chinook is it has been the PFD that I've used for, for several years that has continuously gotten better. We're in the third iteration of it now. Uh, it's gotten more comfortable. The foam is like a deck of cards. When you bend it, it tapers. It kind of wraps around your body. Um, but I like to put my, uh, my, my tether on here from, from Gerber, this Defender tether, and then I put my line snips on there. It allows me to always have them you know, at hands length so I can reach down, clip my line, you know, use the, uh, the jig eye buster. Uh, this thing right here holds the line. So again, I've pretty much got everything I need uh, for, for most of my line clipping and, and leader tying right there at my fingertips. So that's always important to have that right there. I've got my whistle for safety right there. Uh, easy to get to, easy to find, easy to, uh, to pull off and, and throw in my mouth if I need to. I actually like to use these little pockets up here that are really what you're supposed to stow your straps inside of. But because I've got a longer torso and I really don't have it cinched up, I use them for, uh, for dude wipes. That's basically my little dude wipe, you know, dookie preparation pocket. Uh, coming on down, I like to have this thing tied off to one of the lash points so that way I never lose it. On the front pocket here, I've actually got my Gerber pliers and I like to have them, you know, tied off or clipped off to one of the, the loops at the bottom. And so that these things are always, you know, right there at hand's length. And then when I tuck them back away, I like to put the strap over the top, tuck it in like that. And then I don't have to worry about it getting caught on stuff and it's nice and clean and neat and out of the way. <clears throat> one of the things I like about these pockets is they almost work like a little work platform or a little shelf. And when you're sitting down and so I'm literally just going to go through this PFD and pretty much take out everything thing that I use. Uh, one thing that I do is I do a lot of lure modifications. If I damage a hook out on the water by running it into something, I always have spare hooks in a box. I usually keep them in my dry pod so I don't have to retie the lure or dig through my tackle boxes. I just change the hook out and uh, these split ring pliers uh, can be invaluable for that. Now, one thing that I've done to get more efficient over the years is to make things pull double duty. So the lanyard that ties off my split ring pliers is also the lanyard that I use if I need to remove a hook. So I simply take this a loose, pull that off, and that loop on the end is what I use to loop around a hook to do a hook removal. So most of the stuff in my PFD has got some time-tested, pull double duty, you know, little design stuff built into it. So split ring pliers are something that I think are really important. Inside this left pocket, I like to keep my wacky tools and I generally have a spare wacky tool. So if I start smashing them, I can hand them to the other person. Uh, there's a black hole in our house somewhere with about 350 of these <laughs> because I've given one to Christy and somehow or another, it ends up always not making it back into her PFD. So I always keep a spare. And so a wacky tool is pretty much something that I've always got in my PFD. I always actually keep one Cinco rigged wacky stuck in there ready to go with the x pattern o-rings already on it it's just something that if i if i really have to go to a cinco like if i have to bite the bullet and i need to catch a fish then i've always got one you know kind of ready to go i keep some o-rings in my pocket so that i don't have to dig for them i don't have to go through a tackle box and so when i want to wacky rig something either for myself or the person i'm fishing with they're right there at my fingertips now, I like to use one of these old hook packs and I like to put a whole bunch of little, you know, knickknacks and stuff that I need in it. Mostly what I have in here is line stoppers, uh, acrylic beads and woo tungsten weights and some woo tungsten line stoppers. But what I've done over the years is I've, you know, I've used safety pins to organize my stuff. And so the safety pin pulls double duty as my bead holder. And then I have a couple of pike leaders in here. I've got, you know, some really small Ned rig hooks. And then I've got all my line stops. So pretty much what I've got is all my little micro adjustment finesse stuff. I've got some drop shot weights in here. The vast majority of the sizes of bullet weights that I need. Again, my safety uh, pin with a couple of acrylic beads in it for that click bait uh, setup that I use. And that little pocket right there makes it easy for me to keep a whole bunch of stuff, you know, right there in one bag. And that stays in that left pocket. 
Inside here, there's a zippered pocket, and in that zippered pocket, I always keep a pair of nail clippers. You always have something that you need to clip or trim, and, and though I love my, my, uh, my, my Gerber line cutters, I really like the curvature. If I'm trimming a plastic or if I'm cutting an appendage off or if I've got a hangnail or if I want to cut the leader material uh, really close, I've always got a spare pair of nail clippers inside my pocket. Now, the other reason that I keep this is I can always tie this off and give it to another angler that fishes with me should they not have a pair of line clippers because it's frustrating to have to cut their line for them all day when they're tying and retying leaders. Once I show them how I tie a leader, they always want theirs done that way. And it sucks to have to paddle a mile or halfway across a lake to retie their leader when I can just equip them with their own little set of pliers so they can do it themselves. That's pretty much gonna do it for my left interior pocket. So I'm gonna throw these back in here. I'm gonna zip this dude up and show you kind of what I keep, you know, on the rest of my PFD. So on my left side, I got my pliers. I've got my quick knickknacks. On my right side, I generally like to keep most of my hooks that I'm gonna use in any day's trip. Now, I've got a system, it works for me, it might not work for you, but I don't like to have 50 hook packs in my pocket and bulking the pockets out and making it difficult. And so what I do is I put my finesse kit on my right hand side. Uh, that's basically all of my Wu Tungsten stuff that I'm using for finesse and I keep that in a little hook pack. Uh, I keep a couple of finesse hooks in here. These are some gamakatsu, but I also have some mustad hooks that I've thrown in there uh, because I go back and forth on the different types of drop shot hooks that I like. So I keep that all together. And then on the right pocket, I keep a multi-pack. So basically what I've done here is I've taken a mustad hook pack and I've just put a smattering of the primary hooks that I use. This time of year, I'm using a big mouth tube hook quite a bit. And then when I'm rigging stuff up and I don't want the plastic to slide, I am using a grip pin style hook. Let me grab one of those and show you. And so the grip pin style hook has that, that plastic keeper on it right there that keeps the bait from sliding down. And then, you know, certain times I wanna fish a bait weightless and then other times I wanna add just a little bit of weight to it. So I've got a few of those keel weighted hooks in there. These things are gonna vary throughout the season. They're gonna change based on the type of water that I'm fishing, but we're just doing a real-time walkthrough of what I have in my PFD at the time and why this PFD is such a critical part of how I fish. So again, had a couple hook packs in there, had a couple hook packs over here inside my main pocket. I'm gonna have my backup hooks, all right? So I'm gonna have my, my sunglass cleaner. If you can't see, fish when you're sight casting, you can't catch them. And so I like to have that in there. That also works great for cleaning camera lenses, you know, because we do a lot of filming out on the water. And then in this back pocket, I like to use this as my backup. This is the hook pack that I took the hooks out of, you know, and then I've got some additional backup hooks back here. Uh, I've got my trailer hooks. I've got, you know, again, some additional stuff. And if you watch my last video where I talked about frog fishing and I use these impact plastics, I've got quite a few of those in there. So. Again, if you start to look at what I've got in here, I pretty much have a wearable tackle box. I've got all the terminal tackle and all the little knickknacks that I need right at my fingertips. Come back into this pocket. I've got more sizes. Uh, this is a, a pack that I've put three different sizes in. I've got some two, three, and four aught in there. This is a three aught package, but I've got a few two aught, a few four aught, and primarily three aught in there. Uh, again, another multi-pack with some lighter wire hooks that I wanna change the fall rate of a Senko, change the fall rate uh, of the bait because I want a lighter wire, then I've got some of those in there. Uh, again, some more finesse hooks of different sizes, depending on how I wanna fish it. And then I've got some oversized hooks in here in different packages when I wanna upgrade to a bigger swim bait, a chunkier plastic, or something along those lines. So that being said, I finish everything off with right here on my little rod holder keeper, I've got my, uh, my line cutters. So I love this line cutter thing. It makes it easy when I'm rigging something to just go right there and cut it. Saves my teeth. It's easy. It's convenient. This thing cuts through line like butter, anything from like, you know, two pound test up to 150 pound braid. I've cut with it. 30, 40 pound fluorocarbon goes through it like it's butter. And, um, all right guys, so that's pretty much going to do it. Not only is my PFD, you know, prevention from drowning and a significant part of being safe out on the water. It also is a purpose-driven wearable tackle box and gear management system. So maybe that's my system. That's the stuff that I carry. So let's do a quick walkthrough of your Chinook and um, see what you got in your, uh, in your PFD. That's why yours is so much heavier than mine right there. So I'm just going to tell you from somebody who's just getting started, the rookie side, is um, that is overwhelming. So let me tell you what's necessary in your PFD. Okay. <laughs> all that. Not if you're a rookie. You don't need all that because you're paddling beside somebody who has all that. Okay? So, 
the most important thing is Zinko's, right? Because you have to have your confidence lure always. So that's your good butt jeans. I have my Gerber tool in here. Not that I do a lot of line cutting and everything because, you know, but I do have it just in case. Not that I would ever not listen to him and not be right beside him, but just in case I find myself on the water not right beside where I'm supposed to be, then I have Not right, does that sound familiar? <laughs> then, then I have mine. Um, I also have scissors. They're not really scissors, <laughs> but I call them scissors. So you always need those. So when you fish a Cinco a lot and you <laughs> let them swallow it, you need these long nose forceps so that you can grab a hold to the hook and push down in there and keep from injuring the fish when you take it out. And so I, uh, I force applied these pliers to Christie's PFD and said, carry these <laughs> because it gets frustrating to say, oh baby, I got a Cinco and he's, can you come get, no, you've got some pliers. You can take care of that yourself or you can use the finger roll technique that I've taught all of you and I've taught her. And so. I'll have to say, I very rarely use these anymore, but just because we fish in so many different waters and so many different species, I always like to have them just in case I'd rather be safe than sorry and not hurt a fish. So um, over here, I have my other pocket. And I have the most important things in that. I have a hair bow, because every girl needs a hair bow. That is not a bow. It's a clip. It's a hair clip. I have my chapstick with sunscreen in it, because everybody has to have that. And it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know where his chapstick was. I've never is. put chapstick on my lips in my life. And then I have these little Gerber scissors, because I love them. Um, yeah, they're braid scissors. So she has a hard time cutting braid with the other one. So I just gave her the braid scissors. So braid that she is actually, can... if you guys just start fishing, it's actually really hard to cut. So this really helps, but they cut other things too that I'm probably not supposed to use them for. And what else she uses it for is when she gets backlashes and bird nests <laughs> instead of bugging me, she just cuts into the braid. And then I get home and go, why do you only have a quarter of a spool worth of line on your reel? <laughs> well, I, I, I kept the line. It's in the kayak. Is that okay? I'm like, oh. So, anyway. And then, you know, he keeps a lot of backup hooks and weights and all that kind of stuff in his. So I keep a backup um, chapstick. So just in case. And then I always have a knife with me because every girl should have a knife at all times. Um, That's all you have in your PFT? And then I have another. Do you have a backup chapstick? Backup <laughs> chapstick? I do. Well, they're all three different kinds because some of them have sunscreen and some are just for really dry chap lips. Because if you're fishing in Florida on that sun, like you need sunscreen. On that sun? Mm -hmm. You need sunscreen and. I think she means in that sun. But yeah, anyway. You need sunscreen and some chap. Three dryness. chapsticks is ridiculous. I'm just going to say and for the record. another hair clip just in case your other one breaks because that can happen. And. Uh, what that. backup fishing stuff do you have? And then I do have sunglass cleaner. Me. The only backup <laughs> fishing thing that she has in her entire PFD is proximity to me. <laughs> So now you know why singles. I have to carry so much stuff <laughs> because of the anglers that I fish with. Don't have a hook in her entire PFD, but she's got three chapsticks. <laughs> and then don't forget that you also have your oh, have handy line dandy cutter. line cutter on there because it makes it easy to just keep yep. and cut it off. And But I will have to say, so mine fits better and it's not as heavy and bulky because I don't carry 73 pounds worth of hooks and weights. So that's she, a thing too. Because she just says, baby, I need a hook. <laughs> I carry the things necessary that I have to have. If I paddle away from him, I can make it. I just want to say him, for the record that this is a fishing channel and we're talking about fishing. <laughs> One thing that you have to have <laughs> to catch a fish is a hook. <laughs> so anyway, guys, there it is. There's the walkthrough oh, of my PFD and the minute, bonus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, your other part. Yeah. <laughs> where's your, um, where's the O-rings at? I don't have any more O-rings. I've yeah. used them all. That's the, uh, it's that's the tool that she told me that she lost. And notice the screws missing out of the end. Cause, um, she's like, oh, I remember something fail. <laughs> it so fell that right hook, the hole. that little screw that screws in the end is what holds the O-rings. <laughs> this is my life of training a woman from the hills of but East Tennessee how, happy I've made how to kayak fish. So anyway, <laughs> a hook 
is one of the most important things you can have or in your PFD. Or 7,432 of them, for the people, either way. For the people who don't carry them. So anyway, guys, thanks for asking <laughs> that question, and thanks for all the support. Do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button if you like this video. Uh, you know, Leave a comment in the comment section below about the stuff that you carry in your PFD if I left it out, or if you think some of the stuff that I carry is ridiculous, or if you think three <laughs> sets of chapstick in your PFD is kind of a little bit overkill. You so, never know. Anyway, thanks for uh, tuning in. Love y'all. Appreciate the questions. Keep them coming. And like I said, leave one below. We might pick one of those and feature it in a future video. Tell them to subscribe. I told them to subscribe. Hit the, you tell them. Make sure Why do you tell me to tell them? You just tell them. Because you're supposed to be talking to The me. what? The bell. The bell. To tell you about the notification when you oh. do a new video. Yeah, turn on your notifications, bail. <laughs> that's a bell for everybody else, but for Christy, <laughs> that's a bail. Like a hey. <laughs> bail. Can you spell that for clarification? Would that be B E L L? Yes. Or would that B A I L? It's a totally different word. Yeah, because in East Tennessee, it's B A Y apostrophe U L L. <laughs> anyway, love y'all. See y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs> and by the way, woman, where is your whistle? I forgot to tell him. I always have it on me. You can't okay, be on the water We need to secure whistle. your whistle where it goes, which is up here on your safety lash. We need to tie that thing off so it's always and where you can I get to it. Have a coin. It don't do any good if you gotta dig the whistle out. I would, if I was in an emergency. You don't tell drowning, hold on a second, time out, let me find my whistle. <laughs> I feel like if I was drowning and go, then I wouldn't have on a PFD. Hello? Yeah. Anyway, that's what I was hoping she'd say. If you have your PFD <laughs> on, you don't have to panic. You just sit back, find you your whistle. Time, and, dig through your pockets. Because listen, let me just break this down for you. Signal when you get ready to signal out. Oh my, thing. why? What? Why would you do that? Don't do that. Stop. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let them know you're drowning. Because otherwise, nobody's going to hear you say, Help! Help! You wouldn't be doing those things if you have a PFD. Say it. Help. Help. Nobody's going to hear you say that. <laughs> Help! And they sure ain't going to see you waving them little bitty arms. <laughs> Help! But I always Help. do that by saying, I don't like it on here because it doesn't match my color. So we'll get you one of the orange ones. An orange PFD? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> y'all. Right. We'll see y'all in a bit.